Welcome back, owner operators. My name is Steve with LRM Leasing. Today I want to talk about power problems. Not electrical, more horsepower. We're going to go over a few of those things so you guys know what to look for and how to do it yourselves and hopefully to save you guys some money. So what I want to do is I want to talk about this Freightliner Cascadia DD15. So let's start with the simplest thing, the air filter. Anytime you guys do an oil change or you go on the service Freightliner or uh, truck stops and you ask for a service, it doesn't come with an air filter unless you specifically ask for it or have them check it out for you. That's the biggest thing. I'll find out that people forget about it. I pull the air filter down, which is right here, and I find out that it's collapsed. It can't breathe. If it can't, if air can't go through it, guess what? Your turbo is not getting air and you're not getting that power that you need when you climb a hill or sometimes even on a straightaway. But that's where I would look. Something as simple as replacing an air filter. And if you guys remember, I threw a video not long ago about an air filter, how to do it yourself to save you guys money. And again, you would only need a flathead screwdriver and just a little bit of your time to save you guys some money. So that's one aspect. The next one is fuel filters. Now, if you guys had fuel filters replaced not long ago and you have a hard start situation, let's think about you didn't have the problem before, now you have one, let's go back where it started from. Take a look at the fuel filters. You guys can do it yourselves. You know, you need a socket and a ratchet. It's not hard, the fuel filters are right here. And what you would need to do is loosen up, make sure that the O-ring is not pinched or broken because that's usually what I see and then we'll find out that's what the problem is and you would have to get new fuel filters and they're mounted on the truck. And then there's a priming pump right there, which again, guys, I threw another video on how to prime your truck and that would save you guys money. Now, let's say that the filters weren't replaced and you still have an issue with power. The next thing you wanna do is listen for any air. When you hit the pedal, when you accelerate and you hear like a lot of wind or like a noise, like just passing air quite a bit, what you need to do is open the hood and you want to take a look at your charge air uh, cooler and then also check out the charge air plumbing. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys that things. So here's this on this side is the plumbing, right? This hose. You want to make sure that the clamps are not broken, which there's two over here, and make sure the hose is not broken. So if everything seems to be okay here, if you have a, you're going to need a partner or your other driver to help you to floor it, what you want to do is run your hand across the charge air cooler, which is out in front. You'll feel that air hit. If you feel any hair hitting your hand, because you got to remember there's a fan that should be sucking in air, not blowing. If it's blowing, then you have a hole in your charge air cooler, and then you need it replaced. Now, let's say this side is good, and the charge air cooler is good. On the other side, there's more plumbing where it goes from the turbo to the charge air cooler. And again, you want to check those clamps and those hoses. And that's usually where I find the problems when people not having enough power to climb a hill or even when they're fully loaded. Every time, that's where I've always found the problem. And this particular customer, it was actually his air filter. He hasn't replaced it in six months. He replaced it, he has full power once again. And just remember, if you guys don't replace that air filter quite often, it will cause a damage to the turbo and that's gonna even cost more money when something that you guys could have taken care of a lot easier during the maintenance or doing it yourself. 80 bucks is a lot better than 2,000. So just remember, stay on top of your maintenance, all right guys? All right guys, so there's more plumbing on the other side, which I'd like to show you real quick. So let's get right on that side so I can show you the clamps and the boots. Look for any uh, leaks over there as well. Let's go. All right guys, so now we're on the passenger side. Here's our turbo, right? Turbo, which is connected right to your air filter. So you wanna also make sure that all these connections are good. The clamps are not broken, nothing loose, allow it to suck in air. And then right here, you, again, you have two hoses. You have one here and one there. And you wanna double check the clamps. Make sure nothing's broken. If the clamp's broken and you hear hissing, then you know you have a bad clamp. Or if you hear hissing and the hose has a hole in it, then that's another problem. So what you wanna do is make sure all this is sealed. If you have good air going across it, you're gonna have that power. Uh, anything that's leaking, you're gonna not have that power that you need when you're demanding it. All right, owner operators. Again, uh, hopefully this was a good helpful tip for about losing power, not electrical, more horsepower. If you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions or any concerns, feel free to leave me any comments at the bottom. 
And if you guys want to see more content or any more information coming out, don't forget to subscribe. Again, thank you for your time. See you guys in the next video.